Oh, We're back! Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, don't take, check this out. Shit! <laughs> Is this your first time making these? Because this looks professional. Oh! 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 Good to be two to go. Woo! That's so Our cool. first farm animal stop of the day. All right. A little different this year. This is Rag Right number two for me. And instead of Carrie, I have Roy. Everyone, this is my dad, him, and my mom missed out on Rag Right last year, and they are back. Carrie and my mom are both in Sioux City waiting for us. We just parked in Davenport, and we're about to get on the Pork Belly bus to head to the start town. Today is the first kind of a day of rag ride. It is Friday. Like I said earlier, we hopped on the shuttles at Davenport and bust all the way back to Sioux City. We are hoofing it along the bike trail that goes from Pork Belly Venture Camp all the way to the dip site, which is right next to our hotel. We have about a three mile walk. What a great start to this rag ride. It's supposed to be hot all week and of course, Friday night, while we're walking to our hotel, we're in a thunderstorm. I wonder what Carrie and Tammy are doing. <laughs> you hear him? It has started to downpour. I didn't even think about this, but my shoes are soaked. We walked the three miles back to our hotel, and you can hear Carrie and Tammy yelling at us through the window. This is gonna be a great drag by. Three mile hike. You made it! What a way to start your first rag ride! <laughs> oh my god. We have your food gosh. all ready waiting for you. That's only rain. Really? Was that bad? I thought that might feel good. Did you want to be out <laughs> What? Well, I mean, you, know, you don't get good? that experience every day. Well, that's true, but how can that be good? <laughs> oh boy, all right. When you register for a rag ride, they send you this packet that includes your bike band, so this will go around our bike. You also get a wristband, that's a, a rider band. It allows you to use all of their services, so things like the porta potties, the SAG service, putting your uh, bag on the semi truck. You also get a name tag that has your rider number on it to put on your luggage, and a little license plate. It's like a conversation starter, they say, to put your name and where you're from on it. And this goes to the back of your bike so people can read it along the route. All right, we just arrived with all eight of our bags. We are here, gonna check in at Pork Belly Ventures. Four people for one week. All right, find the alphabet. If you choose to utilize Pork Belly Ventures charter service for Rag Rye, you have to check in with them separately, and their wristband allows you to use their services, which include nightly showers, meal service, luggage transportation, and you'll get your Pork Belly cup and Pork Belly t-shirt. We're about to live like a pig. All right, all checked in, live like a pig, Pork Belly cup, let's go help my parents find their tent. So this year's a little different. While we are doing our own tent again, the Tent Mahal, my parents are doing the actual tent service with Pork Belly. So they get a number. This is the number of their tent and it has to be attached to their bag so they know where to put their bags because the Pork Belly will actually take all your bags out of your tent, shuttle them to the next place and then put them back in your tent if you are lucky enough to book tent service. Come on in. Hey, hey, hey. Pretty good size. A big boy. So we're here setting up at Pork Belly Camp and we have met some friends that saw our videos and decided to do the ride after watching them. Right, right. We're hoping it's a good experience because they said if it's not 
It's okay. our fault. It's out of the house. So they got us ready for this. Their videos last year were awesome. We're celebrating his 60th birthday, which is today. And we're gonna have a great week. And you guys, it's all on you. We are here. It's kind of a bucket list item that we wanted to do since we got married. Yeah. Just hitting up adventures as much as we can. It's just an ultimate adventure. So here we are. <laughs> we are here with Jennifer and Monty. And after watching our videos and reaching out to Tyler, Jennifer purchased her specialized Vado in red. So what made you want to do rag bride? We made a condition so that if we go to Disney World last year for the 50th, she would do rag bride. But you tell me you're doing rag bride 50 on 50? At 50? Yes, I turned 50 in March. <laughs> nice. She got a tank top that says Rag Brian, and all it has is 1973, her birth year. Perfect. All right, I just want to say yes. good luck to everybody. Hey, good luck. Yeah, good we luck. look forward to seeing you. Oh, See you out there. Yes. This is the newer one with the belt. I know. It's a nice bike. Carrie, you can't upgrade yet. Uh, I need to upgrade. You can't upgrade. <laughs> Stove is back. This is Steve. We met him last year. Round if you're looking for a fast guy on Rag Brian to try and keep up with, this is him. I want to know, this is your second Rag Brian? Yeah. What made you want to do Rag Brian 50? You guys. <laughs> well, that's number one. Uh, second is it's the 50th. It's going to be the biggest and best. Is that a free beer? Yeah. With pork belly? Yeah. Let me see that cup. Is it good? Pork belly. The first one was, I like the first one better. So last year, obviously, we didn't drink a lot of the beer. Carrie's not a beer drinker. I have celiac, so I can't have beer, unfortunately. But now we have my mom and dad here. And when my dad may want to stay hydrated, my mom doesn't care about hydration. Why? <laughs> 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 which one, which one are you watch. getting? We're going to the expo. Easy Eddie. All right, easy Eddie, then to the expo. Thank you. Here we are, rag bag. Already meeting friends for the ride. We came late to the newbie meeting, but we made it and met Brian Eshi. Did I say that correct? And yes, you did. Uh, my family's been mispronouncing our name for generations, so call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> and the 2023 Not Just Newbie Award. Congratulations. Congratulations. How many rag rides have you done? Uh, this is only my second one. All right. So I'm still a newbie. Probably will always be a newbie at home. You've been doing this for 38. This is going to be your 39th year. That's correct, sir. I just want to know. Why do you keep coming back? Because of the people, quite frankly. It's uh, the Iowa people. Okay, everyone, we just did the Rag Bride Newbie Meetups. We were at the expo today. We were excited to say hello to everybody. So if you reached out to us, we just want to say thank you. It actually means a lot because we do this video just wanting to share our experience and show what a good time we're having and hopefully encourage others. So it's really cool to hear your story and why you're doing Rag Bride. So for anyone that said hello, Thank you, we really appreciate it. And now Carrie is here and just got some food at Crave. She is craving some food. I'm so hungry and I need a good meal before the ride. I, I feel like I rode all day today, I'm tired. So for anyone that thinks that Rag Bride is actually all about the ride, uh, it's getting here. It's the day one expo, all of it. It's the heat, it can be tiring. So we are already feeling pretty exhausted and we haven't biked a single mile. Good morning, everybody. It is 6 a.m. We just woke up. We stayed in a hotel last night before the first day of Rag Bray. Let's get started. Thank you. Rag Bray 50. Oh. Here we come. With a very late start. 7.51 on the first day. Yeah. And good morning, everyone. We are out. We are just starting. We're going to the dip side to dip our rear wheel, and then we will get on the road. I believe so. We're back. 
What's up, guys? It's so good to see you again. Good to see you. I think it's crazy that we're all, all of us are here right now. Surfing this year. <laughs> Surfing. You and know what's, it. Your, what's your uh, handle? Uh, Ride with Dan USA and my nonprofit's the One Pedal at a Time movement. Ride with Suicide Dan. Prevention. Suicide Prevention. Ride with Dan's the man. We're going to see him on the ride surfing. Surfing it. You know it. Doozer. Priority, guys. Yo. Bye bye. Have fun. See you in Davenport. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Already Rag. seeing everybody. Rag Brett Morning! Have fun, you guys. Safe travels. All right, we are back. Rag Bry 50 just officially started. Happy to be out here, and yes, I'm short of breath a little bit because we're already climbing hills. Less than a mile in, and we're already climbing. What's our total mile? 77 and 3,500 feet of elevation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. We did a little riding yesterday after I put my battery pack away. So we're starting today's ride on 95% battery. So I'm hoping with the mileage and the climb, it'll get me through, but we'll see. I just got asked if it's legal to have a battery on Rag Rag. I said, yeah, it's legal to have a battery on Rag Rag. And I'm sucking the life out of the battery. A little different this year on Rag Rag 50. We started in a big town of Sioux City. Last year was Sergeant Bluff and it started on small rural roads. We just got done going through the city and we are on the road doing another climb. Missing a few. There was a few more last year. They're ahead of us. Okay. Team Wedgie. Team Wedgie. Someone's got to be the behind. Good morning. Everybody's out in Iowa fashion saying good morning. One of the lady even said, good morning, make good choices. We can't guarantee that. I want to stop at that burger place back there. I'm already hungry. All I had was Fruit Loops for breakfast. Morning! Hey, she's got an adaptive check. Sag wagons out and about. Want to ride my van? <laughs> for the sag wagon, for those of you that don't know, they go around with a trailer picking up bikes and people who break down or for some reason or another cannot make the ride. They're out early, as you can see. It's only 8.45 and they have a few bikes on it. So apparently someone's already utilizing it. There's been a couple of them. Been a couple, yeah. yeah. Out, um, flat it. tires, derailleur issues, you name it, they'll pick you up. We are cruising, how many miles are we at? 7.6. Seven, we've only done 7.6 miles, it's almost nine o'clock. We got about 69 miles to go. Oh boy, it sounds a lot easier than the start of the day. There's always someone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Three shots ahead, where's Tammy? Stop it! Woohoo! We're here for the shot! Hey! Oh, there we go! Cheers! Woo! Rag Rag! Thank you! Yes! 8.59 in the morning. This is a different rag ride this year. Hydrate while you dehydrate. A vodka Gatorade shot. Fresno, California. Fresno, California. Actually, let's try it. Uh-oh. Like uh -oh. like right right yeah, right there. You're in Yes, thank you. Now we're in the farm country. We mapped, we put a dot on the map where, well, kind of where we're from. Give or take. Right there, give or take, yeah. <laughs> So on day one, we just passed the mile of silence. It is a mile where everyone turns off their music and stops talking, and you can only hear bikes and pedaling. The mile of silence is in remembrance of those that have been killed while on a bicycle. As everyone always says, Iowa is not flat. Rollers today. It is hilly, up and down constantly. There's really not a section so far where you're just cruising on flat ground. It's up and down. That was the climb. Almost 11 miles in and I'm at 88%. I'm gonna try to conserve a little bit more because we figure my battery gets about 1% of 
quarter mile. And this year is a special year because this is Rag Bright L, the 50th anniversary of this bike ride across Iowa. So they're doing a lot of cool things this year to commemorate the 50th anniversary. The first being we started in the same city, Sioux City, where the ride started 50 years ago. And we're also ending in the same city where it ended 50 years ago. I'm trying to conserve, but shoot, there's one hill after another. Woo -woo. <sighs> You're not tired already. What's your name? Alan. You doing the whole thing on your own? No, my parents are here. I mean, self-supported though? Yes. Holy cow, impressive. Thank you. Uh, you on the 600X? I am. I actually Support just got doozer. it. Support Doozer. I just saw him. Did I you met Doozer yesterday. Did you go to the priority booth? I got my book signed. Doozer, just want to say thank you for inspiring me oh, and yeah. Alan. He inspired you? Yep. I got one more question. Yeah? Why are you doing Rag by 50? Because it's 50th anniversary and also Doozer. And also Doozer. Thank you, Doozer. Thank you, Doozer. We'll see you at the end. Yeah. I gotta eat a snack. Yeah. I can't wait for the first town. The first town's 29 miles today. I gotta send my roll my fanny pack. Same as we didn't bring our ice just this year, so I had to find a way to pack them. So I got some in here. I got them in my fanny pack, and Tyler's got some in his bag. And they're all slowly melting like an oven. Hill after hill after hill on just day one. We're not even 20 miles in yet. It's hot and sticky out today, but the breeze on these downhills feels so good. Not only are there a ton of hills leaving Sioux City, but it is packed today. There's so many riders. This is what it looks like when you're near the beer garden. A lot of people like their beer on Rag Bri. Most of the traffic jams on Rag Bri tend to be in the towns, at the beer garden, and on the hills. If you know that you need to walk, just stay right. A lot of people end up walking their bikes. Uh, people go slower and there's of course always the fast ones but overall as long as you just kind of point where you're going it's pretty darn safe we just take them one hill at a time we cruise up as slow as we need to and then we just coast down and enjoy it so many families out already along all of the rural roads they got sprinklers water guns hoses to fill up your water bottles they're selling gatorades waters you name it it's awesome because they're out here just helping out and saying hello They're just throwing it at us on the first day. Wind, oh. climbs. Where are you taking that bike? Oh, it's going to Iceland, New Zealand, Shanghai, North Dakota. Holy smokes. Um, Minnesota, I came and did a tour in Arkansas for about 300 miles. And how many rag rides? This is my first one. So because it is the 50th anniversary, they are expecting record numbers this year. And just by seeing the amount of bikes out here, the people at Pork Belly Camp, at Rag Bride Camp, I have a feeling those numbers are going to be far exceeded. Before every big town stop, there are signs galore, burgers, smoothies, you name it. Whatever the town's gonna have, they list it. They usually will put out how many miles you have to go. Like this one right here that says biscuits and gravy. Our first town for day one. Well, it's at 29 miles. My watch says 27.5. Oh, we're looking for some more food. Okay, I saw a sign for fresh fruit. That's what I want. I mean, maybe a hamburger or a hot dog would be good too. All right, Tori! Stop it. Stop it. You guys are 27 miles into your first drug ride. How do you feel? Excited. Good. Pumped up. I tell them, I know it's only the first town and the first day, but I like it. Yeah, it's good. She really amazed me, man, going up the hills and coming down the hills. And Killing, it? Killing it? Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Show a photo of my battery. Killing it. So if somebody asked me, can, can I hook on and you can tow me up the hill? I said, no, because I don't want to use all my battery. <laughs> Welcome to Kingsley. All right. If you want to see what a town looks like, this is it. Very first one of Rag Bri. Hey, what are you guys selling? $1 water! You gotta beat the record. You gotta buy 10. Ten. You gotta buy 10. You gotta buy 10. You gotta buy 10. Yeah! I need four. Road trip and one. They need 10. They need 10. You gotta need 10. 
Uh, should be that. Yeah. Three, Let's see. Four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Type in uh, PT afterwards. We got the record. At the end. PT. Yeah, PT. No, no, what sport you guys do? Every, every sport. sport. Every sport. Every I, I don't do soccer. Lacrosse, <laughs> baby. No. And what town? This is Iowa. Iowa. All right. Let's go, guys. Thanks for the waters. Yeah. Uh, Hold on. the record. Ten waters. <laughs> it feels so good. I can just walk like this. <laughs> we got to start drinking. Give it a hug. Hey, thanks for the water, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks guys, you made Kingsley the stop to be at. Hey, we got a ride to finish, Carrie. Let's go. Pickle All right, frozen, frozen pickle. pickle juice. Frozen oh, pickle, pickle juice. juice. It's the best way to have pickle juice. That's mm -hmm. stuff. You better rinse your mouth out. Softle, softy. Oh God, do it, do it. Uh, I can't believe you thought a frozen one would be any better. <laughs> Apparently, Carrie didn't learn her lesson from last year. She doesn't really like pickles, and yet she got another one. Morning, folks. Morning, folks. Hey, you got fireball. That's not bad. Wait, what? 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 Fireball, you got All right, we just left Kingsley, the first town. This has been, I think, the farthest we've ridden to a town, 30 miles, especially on day one. We were headed to Mr. Pork Chop. We saw a sign five miles ago. Can't wait to get it. So you can do hills. I've got a lot of people, so I had to get you guys on it. Our friends we met early on what, at a rest stop on the, on the way to Rag Ride. Yeah. And from what we hear, the sassy lemonade. Sassy lemonade is where it's at. Get sassy. Sassy, get sassy. Single handedly, one of the most important things on Rag Ride is sunscreen. I mean, unless you don't need it in general life because you are tan every day multiple times a day you are sweating constantly my nose my ears my neck you are in the sun all day long also your lips you don't think about it sunscreen chapstick mine got so chapped one time it's just hard to eat or drink <sighs> let's go so yes that was mr pork chop we just rode past we did technically make a short stop but it was about a 45 minute wait for Mr. Pork Shop and we got started late today. We got started like eight o'clock and it's already almost one. We just don't have time. It's a 77 mile day. So we decided let's eat quick and get back on the road. Okay, I'm making some headway since Tyler just asked me. We've done 33.4 miles and I have 76% of my battery left. And now we're looking for our first official use of the corn. What do you have for the bathroom and why? I gotta pee. I know, but what do you got? Oh, you gotta, you gotta clean yourself. A trash bag, because I don't want to throw it in the corn, and then when you leak, you lube. The corn stop. Aw, shucks. <laughs> we already got lost. <sighs> well, there was a big opening right there, so I had to go a little further. Would it really be a week in the corn if we didn't pee in it on the first day? No. Done with day one. And it's hot. Someone had a sign that said three hills to Washita. We're counting them. That's what we were told the last time. Probably huge ones. Okay, I'm gonna count them this time. So there's one and then two. Woo! Woo! Yay, thank you. Yes. Now that should have been the third one. So time. this town should be right here. So the lady sign tricked us. There was not really three hills to Washita. Uh, I think we're on, yeah, we're on four. Is that sign accurate? <laughs> we just passed a sign that said it's all downhill. But I questioned her because of all the hill signs we've seen. And her answer was, well, it is for a little bit, but we'll take it. We're going 34 miles an hour right now.
Okay, we are in the town of Washta. This is our second town of the day. We've covered more than half the distance of our 77 miles. Carrie got a delicious hamburger and water and chips at the fire station. You know I see those hamburgers? Mm, that's good. I have celiac disease and as someone who has to be very strict about being gluten free on Ragbri, it does create a challenge. Um, fortunately, Pork Belly does offer some gluten free entrees at night. Uh, that is our charter service we paid for. But I did come a little more prepared this year because I found out that if uh, you can't find something and you're starving, it really just makes you cramp and not feel good. So I brought a big bike bag and I have tuna I brought, a lot of raisins, and I bought like a lot of these bars. and. Check out this, this silverware. Wait, where? So, it's time to eat. Let's chow down. I just dropped two hammer fizz. Don't let me influence on the eating too. And so Carrie eats a lot of snacks on this ride. I mean, that's like her to think. So, gluten free. I'll bring a lot of my own. Uh, uh, I don't Maybe know. All the gluten. Yeah, all the gluten. And then apparently my mom, who decided to come on this ride for her first time ever, decided, you know, it's just not enough if you don't bring a whole bag of Cheetos. Got my own bag. So the town of Washta has what looks to be a dunk tank. Woo! Yeah. Check it out. I want Anyways, you to do his. I am about to go up there and see if I get dunked. I only do if they Get him! <laughs> Nice job! First shot! Woohoo! How's it feel? Way better. Way better now. <laughs> All right, Washta, it's been great. We gotta head out. Just got dunked again. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Stop, feel the sprinkler, get in the dunk tank, go on the slip side, you'll feel better. 316 miles left. Nice road. How's it feel? Tyler just got his butt dunked in the dunk tank. The kid must be a baseball star because he got him on the first try. Literally nailed it. And then the second time he went, the kid just ran up and, and hit it and knocked him in. So he got dunked twice. Shocked. I still got 70%, baby. 30 we got miles. 30 miles left. Killing it. And Tyler told me this morning, I think you are going slower than last year. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it. It felt like it. And I have somebody pass me and they're like, I never passed anybody on Ragbar before. I'm like, oh, jeez. They passed you. Oh, I'm, I'm a sloth today. Okay, a little curve for that guy. Yeah. So, I didn't film it. You know, I don't want to film someone who's crashed, but uh, as fun as it is, be safe on rag ride. There's so many people. That was our first official crash we saw this year. We saw a few last year. There's some ambulances coming down the road right now. Um, so just be safe. We are rolling into Quimby and we just saw a sign that said free watermelon and that is our favorite fruit. Quimby advertised free watermelon, but I think they're out. So we bought a banana. I'm gonna get it. Am I getting that half? You want the whole thing? Maybe not. It's a burner. They say some really steep ones for late in the day. They wanna make sure you do them when you're tired and rested. <sighs> Nothing like a climate. Three o'clock in the afternoon after you've already done 51 miles. Oh, it's like 90 degrees. Oh, let's just throw another one at you. Hey! All hey. dudes are fans right here, hey. huh? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Whew! I'm in a climb. I tell you what, there's some <laughs> big ones this year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the steepest hill of the ride so far. You can do it, babe. Keep pedaling. <sighs> We're at mile 55. We have like 22 to go. Day one on Rag Rai L is a killer. I'm exhausted and my legs are tired because there's some big hills. So I'm taking a nap in some random person's yard in the shade and I'm about to fill up my water bottles with their hose like everybody else. Oh, my quads are cramping a little bit. 
So, time for a hydration pack. Yeah, that's what they are. I don't cramp very often, but they're definitely getting stiff. Let's see what Carrie's up to. Oh. Hey. Mm. Mm. Is that weak? How you do it? Straight Gatorade power. My second one today. How you feel? Almost to the end. I'm good. Feeling I'm good. good. Let's do it. That power nap is just what I needed. Nice little concrete slab in the shade. We got about 20 miles to go. And this is why I conserved my battery. It is 415, it is hot. I still have 60%, so you can bet your butt I'm on eco right now. Getting pie and ice cream, Carrie. Just ice cream. I can honestly, what'd you get? Not enough ice cream. Cherry pie I said I want a double. I'm like, I thought I lost the scoop. <laughs> Just to crazy how much you got. Yeah, and you thought you got drip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mine's have gone. We just left the pie and ice cream stop. And I'm just in a cruise. I'm going about 11 miles an hour. Hoping to finish strong. We see a water tower. And it looks relatively flat from here. Thank the Lord. Storm Lake. Woo! We made it. Pork belly. Thank goodness. This may single-handedly be the best campsite we've ever had. There's a lake right here that we're gonna go jump in and cool off. Can you believe it? Rag ride day one. If you haven't been to Storm Lake on Rag Ride, have you been anywhere? <laughs> have you really done Rag Ride? Have you really done it? I thought I was gonna die an hour ago. And now, I feel like I'm gonna die, but I'm in water. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to camp, everybody. We rolled in, I think about 5.30 today. Today was absolutely a brutal day. Fortunately, like the last two miles, we met a really cool couple. Uh, they really helped us get in, so I wanna say thank you guys. We waited in what is the longest pork belly dinner line we have ever seen. Yeah, crazy. When they said record numbers, uh, I believe it, because that line, we waited in line for probably 40 minutes for our food. You know what, though? There was a huge line, and I will hand it to Pork Belly. It was moving fast. Yes. So Carrie's digging in. She got an extra bun for me on the plate of the tent, and we got a jello. So we're gonna eat and enjoy, and then head to the showers. This is our favorite part about being on the Pork Belly Charter. They have showers every day. Shower. We barely made it. It wasn't bad. I think the worst part was we got such a late start that it was we were in the heat a lot, and then we kind of felt like we had to rush through them some things. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get out a little bit earlier so we won't feel so crunched for time. It was a hard day. My legs are feeling better now. Uh, I've drinking a ton of water, so I'm a little more energetic. But we're gonna get an early start tomorrow, and by early I mean just a little before seven. <laughs> um, but we got a mini fan up, check this out. You guys, we have upgraded some of our stuff this year, okay? Oh my gosh, gosh. I hope to not be freezing this year, so I brought my sleeping bag, and of course it's like 20 degrees hotter. I got a new mat, and we have a fan. I didn't get an upgraded mat, look at the difference of this. It's, it's one, one finger thick, and then, Inflatable mattress. It's four fingers fit. And not only that, we had these pillows made by a family friend of Tyler's. Last year we just used these sweaters. <laughs> and we're like, dang, that was so uncomfortable. And so his parents had the idea of having these pillows made. So we literally took a whole pillow from home, had it cut in half, and made two small packable pillows out of it. And so now we're sleeping. We're gonna be sleeping like kings tonight. Three, two, one. Woo! 
Jersey Day and I got the golden jersey.